So, tell me something terrible. Are your palms bigger than like your forearms or is that just me? Bigger than my forearms? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, I can palm a basketball and I'm 5'8". Woo! Yay! <laughs> Weird hands. <laughs> I don't even Instead know. Instead of slow hands, yeah. this song needs to be weird hands. We, yeah. I don't even know who sings that song. I don't know either. Is it Niles? I don't Nile know. Horn? Someone. Already people are yelling at us. Nope. Googling Just, it. Have you met our audience? Nobody's yelling at us who sings. It's one of the It's one of the One Direction guys. Hold on. Slow hands. Niall Horn. Woo! Look or at you Horan. His, I thought it was Niall Horn. It is Horan. Okay. However you say that. They're sure. British. They just swallow it. Horan. Yep. Horn. Anyway. That went. That was kind of like a little Off east. That was a little east of Europe. That yeah. uh, pronunciation. Okay. Did oh. you want to cut all this or we keep? No, this no, is the we'll intro. Keep some of it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Hi, I'm Scott. And you're listening to Tell Me Something Terrible. And I just blanked out what episode this is. Thirty three. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. It's our third life crisis. Yes, it is. We had our quarter life crisis. That I guess that was that was a month ago. We had. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The, okay, having a kid is like a walking, breathing timeline. This podcast has now become a walking breathing timeline of like we started this over three months ago now Mm -hmm. and it is just flown by yeah it has at this pace we'll be episode 100 in like what nine months sure sure you like math i don't know yeah that's your strong we are we have decided we have the end of july we are taking a family camping vacation for a week in july and the last week of july we're gonna we pause. Are, we're gonna pause for the yeah, cost. We are not gonna week. record for a week. Mm-mm. We're not gonna try to because we were like, oh, we'll just do like four episodes. No, nope. No summertime <laughs> in my busy season. There is no way in hell. Yeah, like you're taking a week off of work. I'm taking a week off of work, and we're taking a week off of this. This isn't work. This is 100 percent a hobby. But which means we can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. Well, that too. Yeah. We have no like sponsors or anything to worry about. We're completely independent. But. We will not be recording. There will be a bonus podcast. Maybe we'll release the bonus pod that episode just to try to sleuth in some patrons. Maybe. That's oh, what like I'll release do. like one that's I'll hold already... it back, yeah. Because the June one is getting released... Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, probably. Okay. It's going to get released this week. So anyway, we'll be in about on time to release the July Patreon episode because we get one extra one on Patreon every month. So maybe we'll do it then just to be like, oh, if you miss us... You can pay a diller and listen to us, yep. kind of thing. Um, Shameless plugging. Heck yeah. Gotta help. What are you doing? I dropped the eraser. Do you need the eraser? I suppose not. You typed that out. You can't erase it. Nope. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure we're on the same page. So you're ready to get started? With- um, have we shamelessly plugged every hole? I think so. <laughs> Sorry. That was that was bad in my head, and I said it out loud, and it was worse. So which bad, happened. yeah. I'm going to take the... Should I go the penguin one or the orange one? The penguin one. All right. That shot glass feels cool. It's matte finish. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, so while he's doing that. Not like Matthew, like with an E at the end. Oh. Yes, Matt. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're just pronounced the same. If you have a kid and she starts learning how to read and write, you realize how stupid the English language is. Oh, yeah. And then she asks for an explanation and, and she's like, why? And I'm like, I don't know, bud. I don't know what to tell you. I would say, and I'll get off my I mean, so- I do know why. No, no, no. I would say I'll get off my soap box, but soap is spelled stupid. So I don't even want to bring it up Yeah, because that should be S-O-P-E and it's not and it should be. Well, and there's no reason it's not. You can thank the French. No. And. I don't have to thank anybody. That's why. It should be S-O, it should be soap, nope, dope, and rope should all be spelled the same, but soap had to have an A mm-hmm. and there's no good reason. What is it? Okay. Is There's either one or two re- reasons. Uh-uh. It's either because soap is a French based word or. Or somebody three, four hundred years ago tried to turn the English language into a romantic language. And in order for that to happen, it has to be Latin derived. And it wasn't. It was Germanic and French derived. And so they tried to get all bougie. Okay. And that's why we got weird ass spellings for things. But because they tried they to came, make it Latin based and they fucked even it all when up. when they came over here, they had the, ro- the words rope, nope, maybe not dope. But like. English language has existed a lot longer than the 1600s. Okay, but I'm just saying, when we decided to make our own deviation Soap could have been S O P E, and that's all I'm saying. There's really not the only difference is the like Pope the has R-E. been around forever. It rhymes with Pope, and we still spelled it S O A P. We've definitely gone off the rails. I'm gonna take this yacht okay. out of a penguin glass. Okay, what's this Toledo Zoo? Yes. We should go there next weekend. We, sh- we should. All right, we're um, having a TMST meetup at the Toledo Zoo on July 
Is that the 4th of July? They're nope. probably not open. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two weekends Did you say now. nope? Is that nope. spelled N-O-A-P? I will punch you so hard not even feel bad about it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're actually, with that after that little mini history lesson, um, we uh, I'm going to give you another history lesson. Ooh, what are yeah. we learning about tonight? The history of executions. <laughs> okay. Yep. Wow. Uh-huh. That's a mood killer. Isn't it? Um, so I found this article with a list of like really horrible ancient execution techniques. So I'll tell you so a few of those. So you're going like all like, are we going from like the guillotine to like... I didn't mention the guillotine in here. What? I know. Literally. That's like the rock star of executions. Right. I mean, like I, w- I went some like real horrible ones. And Worse then, than... And then modern... Yes. Worse Way than worse gui- than the guillotine. The guillotine, you could literally hear the blade running down the wood before it decapitates Have you ever you. heard of being hung, drawn, and quartered? Yeah. Uh-huh. But isn't that like a pirate thing? Mm-mm. It feels like a pirate Keel thing. Keel hauling is a, pi- is a pirate thing. No, 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 no. I don't get... Okay. We'll get to it. They're all terrible. They're all bad. And then, it, and then we'll get into modern techniques. But the guillotine, where you're like in a line of people, and you like you know your turn's coming... Just F that. And like the fact that you hear and then doom. It is so fast. I, out of all of the ways to die, I think guillotine would be my, my choice. If if you were. No. Oh yeah. Oh, just wait. We'll talk about it at the end and see if you still think that. Um, This is already, we should, okay. (laughs) Fun behind the scenes of, tell me something terrible here. Um, We're recording the bonus episode tonight too. I should have gone first. Mine's fun. This, not fun. (laughs) You're going to love it. We don't have enough vodka or cheese for me to make this fun. <laughs> we'll try. Okay. Did you hit record? Just kidding. <laughs> I have this fun joke when we leave the house. I go, did you have the keys? Um, Until one day. Well, okay. It's happened once in 10 years. That's not that bad. Um, but anyway, so now I feel like I need to bring that into the podcast. Be like, Did you hit record? Even though she's never touches a computer the entire time we do this. No, computers she, malfunction when I try to The most she them. does is she turns her mic on. Yep. And I have to. And re- I fail at that. It's <laughs> a reminder to do that most of the time. Uh, anyway, proceed with your white claw with a straw, you weirdo. I, look, I'm being lazy today. So the first, so we're going to talk about the death penalty first. Uh, the first estimated death penalty laws were instated in. Do you want? Do you want to guess when? We've talked about the first death penalty stuff in Michigan. Uh huh. I'm talking worldwide in the grand scheme of things. When do you think the first death penalty laws were instated? Well, Jesus was crucified on a cross. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was 2,000 years ago. Yeah. That was zero AC, wasn't it? Or BC? AC, Would it just be zero? A- AC is the window unit over there. AD is Oh, because it's current. after death. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't believe that's actually what it stands for. but Isn't it before Christ and after death? That's like the Amer- there's an I- no. Oh. <laughs> That's like the like Americanized version. Okay. They actually have names. Hold on, I'll Google them. Since All right. we're since we're a borderline historic. Hold on. Uh my Google history is currently on uh slow hands one direction. Um A C so, or A D B C meanings. I think B C E is the proper now. A D stands for Anno Domini. It's Latin. Latin for in the year of the Lord, while B C Okay, but it doesn't stand for after death, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, go- okay, never mind. I don't want to go into what it says, uh, but BC apparently is distinguished before Christ. But it's Anno Domini is AD, not after death. The okay, y- I'm sorry. I just thought you know since it was such an important historical event that I know. I just wanted to set the record <laughs> okay. straight. Oh, straight. Okay, that penguin shot hit me quick. Okay. Let's go, guys. All right. Let's go, girls. <laughs> I love those memes where that comes on and you're ready to kick a door down. Uh, yeah, I grew up with that song. I know. Okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, the finally, I'm going to let you know that the first laws that were in state... We're that only were, 10 minutes yep, in. It's, it's bad. fine. Um, anyway, it happened uh, in the 18th century BC. So th- almost 4,000 years ago? Yeah. Is that... Okay, woolly mammoth era. Just kidding, they died Almost. off 11,000 years ago. <laughs> um, so, There's your fun fact for the night, guys. <laughs> Take that one to the bank. So the first recorded pushback against the death penalty as a form of punishment for crimes, with the exception of murder, happened by William the Conqueror in the 11th century AD. So it just went that long before anybody was like, guys. William the Conqueror? Mm-hmm. It's not the best name I've ever heard. Vlad the Impaler? Great. Alexander the Great? William the Conqueror? Yep. Meh. He needed a marketing team. (laughs) (laughs) 
So uh, we're going to talk about some of the worst old-timey forms of execution. So the, in my opinion, guillotine, super fast. Yeah, you know what's going, but just wait till we're done and you're going to be like, I Tarn get it. feather. I'm just kidding. No, um, so uh, the first one we're going to talk about is boiling someone to death. Oh, that's yep. the worst way to do everything. Mm-hmm. So it was done either in water, oil, or wax. In the more bougie, Yeah. In the more bougie executions were done in wine or molten lead. Okay. So now where's your stance on the guillotine? Okay, boiling someone in molten lead feels very like that's what happens to Han Solo in Star Wars, where he gets like compressed. Anyway, um, um, why would you boil someone in wax? Because it would hurt. Is that like the candle maker's board? And he's like, "Yeah, throw him in. I don't care." It seems like a waste of a shit ton of a valuable resource. Yeah, well, and the lead. Anyway. They and really wanted to prove a point. I don't even want to get started on the wine. Yeah. So if the shock of, pain, like the shock of, shock of the pain, didn't render you unconscious first, you would enjoy the feel of the epidermis starting to burn and then dissolve off of your body, followed by the breakdown of your adipose or your fatty tissue that would start to boil away. The esthetician you is like on mm-hmm. cloud nine right now. Yep. And then you died. Uh, well, th- yeah, your innards leaked out of your outards. Yes. So this was supposed to be used. I'm not for a the- doctor, but that's how that's how <laughs> that's they how describe it. it. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> when your was- when your inside stuff is now outside stuff, you die. Y- yes. Yep. Generally, yeah. I'm, um, I've hit the table twice now. It's not my fault. It's a drop leaf table, or what do you call these? Yes. This is a drop leaf. Yes. Yeah, and we have a leaf down. Anyway, it's a massive distraction. <laughs> it is. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting side saddle. Proud of you. In my early victorian dress um so it was supposed to be used for the like absolute worst crimes but of course nero which i should do an episode on he's like the roman emperor who went like fucking crazy the one who's like they said he played a fiddle on the roof when rome burned because he lit it on fire he's like the mad king it's there's a whole movie on yeah it's yes pretty much i bet you that he based the mad king off off of nero is he fiddler on the roof is that where that came from no oh um I thought you were going to tell me it was. I was waiting for like, yes. No, I think Fiddler of the Roof is, is Jewish, isn't he? Never seen it. Okay, me neither. Um, it's a play and a movie, right? Yes. I've never seen it's it. It's a musical. Okay. Clearly, Fiddler. Um, anyway. Uh, Musicals. Big top. Anyway. So anyway, this crime, this this punishment that was supposed to be for like the worst crimes imaginable, Nero uh, saved specifically for the execution of Christians. Okay. Mm-hmm. Aggressive. Yep. That's the only crime. They were just Christians, so he just needed to boil them alive. Um, and for the most part, this form of execution went by the wayside after the Middle Ages, but there are still records showing that it was used as a form of a torturing for sus- su- like suspected tor- uh, terrorists that were tortured to death um, as recently as 2002 by the government of Uzbekistan. If you're going to ask me where Uzbekistan is, I'm going to say it's... It's like, in the Middle East somewhere. It's adjacent. To, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, it's like somewhere between Egypt and Russia, somewhere in that gray area. <laughs> That's a pretty big area. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> I next... Like, I like to leave myself some margin of error. <laughs> yes. So next um, is impalement, which okay. is made... Are you po- going to... Vlad? Yes. Yeah. Made popular by Vlad the Impaler, um, but it was, it's been used throughout like history. The stake was... like You can find it in different cultures and stuff. Steak... A K E, not yeah. E A K. Yeah, we're not talking about a ribeye. Mm-mm. The a steak was partially sharpened, so oh dull. Yes, so like blunt. I told you. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. it's just rounded. Who's sometimes they were a, a little point? bit. Yeah, yeah there's sometimes they were a little bit of a point. Vlad the Impaler, he really liked to use the more rounded ones. Um, it was inserted into the body, either through <laughs> into the- into the body, either through their bums or their lady bits oh mm-hmm. like a pineapple for yes. Hitler. yes yep yes and so who doesn't love the little nikki reference come on oh so good um <laughs> that movie i bet you i haven't seen that in oh my god probably 15 years no at least no little nikki definitely came out in the early 2000s i bet you it does not hold up probably not that's your homework for this week for Fourth of July, go watch Little Nicky and tell me how it holds up. <laughs> I'm gonna Google when it came out. I'm gonna say oh three. What's your what's your guess? Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd say maybe oh two. Really good for podcasting. Um, it's two thousand. No, older than oh yep, three. Oof, yep. that was middle school. And it's got twenty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. No, really? <laughs> Ugh, that's a shame. Anyway, it's not a shame. It's appropriate. No, it's a shame. Okay, keep um, reading about your um So it was inserted impaling. into their bodies mm-hmm. and uh they were left hey, to slide. We don't kink shame around here. No. 
Um, so it was left to slide further down the partially greased stake under like their own body weight. At least they use grease. Yeah. Uh, that way it could pierce through their internal organs. And then eventually it would come through their mouth, neck, or shoulders. I was going to say, yeah, where's it Where's mm-hmm. it end? Yep. And it was said that it could take upwards to eight days to so die. So it wasn't just heads. They didn't put heads on stakes. No, it was they put whole bodies. bodies on. That's how you died. Alive, shoved it inside of you, and it, your body sank down onto the stake. How you feeling about that guillotine? Still terrible. They're all terrible. <laughs> um, what if you're a... Never mind. So the first, the first <laughs> recorded instance of death by impalement was in 1772 BC in Babylon. And then it was last used during the... I wasn't the, born yet. No. It was last used during the uh, Armenian Genocide in 1915 to 1923. Okay, now you're getting a little closer. Mm-hmm. So you just like... You, you in two sentences jumped like 3,000 years. Yes. That's how long it's been used. Wait, the people were impaled in the 1920s? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That's like my grandparents. In, well, I don't have grandparents, but like if people had it's grandparents. They all died. Yeah, if people had, like there's people alive from the 1920s. Uh-huh. I mean, they're super old. Yeah. And they clearly didn't get impaled. No. But still, that's nutty. Mm-hmm. I guess, well, there's probably less people from the 1920s than I would think. There'd be centeni- like centarians by now. Yeah. yeah, like they'd be announcing them on uh, the good day, good day, the Today Show, or on like, like the, the Schmuckers. Oh, yeah, Schmuckers. Yes. No, it was Schmuckers. You're yeah, right. The Schmuckers. Yeah, hundred years. Yeah. yeah. Um. So keel haul, keel hauling, uh, was the sailors' form of executions. Why wouldn't they just throw someone overboard? Because it didn't hurt as much. I'm and also, you sure could swim drowning, and go to an island. No, you couldn't. If no, you were on the middle, they of didn't the nowhere, want you to drown. They would put sponges in people's mouths so that they had a little bit of oxygen so they wouldn't die as soon as they hit the water. Were there coral sponges? Like a loofah? <laughs> no. <laughs> what that kind of sponge would they have on a boat? It's got to be coral, right? No, it's got to be a loofah. Coral, coral gets um, hard. Like loofah from the plant. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We've gone off the rails. Um. So a person this was tied. This whole episode is very structureless. It's yes. fluid. So a person was tied to a rope with their feet weighted down. They were thrown overboard and drug under the ship along the keel hall, like the big board that runs across the very bottom from the stern to the bow or bow to the okay. stern. Um, like and- the, like a su- it's like a support beam, like in a house. Yes. Yeah. And so, I didn't realize that was called the keel hull. Yep. It was a drown. It was a drawn out way to drown someone. So in the meantime, while they're under, they're getting it's like dragged dragging around. them behind a horse. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, their bodies are often cut up by the barnacles that would grow on the bottoms of the ships. If they were pulled out alive, still after they like went to check to see if they're dead or not, they would be allowed about a fifteen minute reprieve and then thrown back in the water again until they died. That's delightful yep and you then, just be like please let a shark come eat me yes um and then there's flaying or being skinned alive yeah it was popular form of capital punishment with records going back as far as 911 bc and has cropped up throughout time in nearly um medieval times. every yes yeah. uh, every mm-hmm. civilization in medieval europe flaying was reserved for traitors the purpose was to deter any further treacherous activities but it never worked um it starts as slicing the skin from the body while trying to keep the person alive for as long as possible so different cultures would start in different areas of the body like the feet at the thighs um the chinese culture started on the face Mm-hmm. Terrific. Um, so sometimes the person was unlucky enough to get an expert flayer who could keep them alive for days after being skinned. So people would usually die from shock it's or like blood loss. It's like some red skull shit from like Marvel. Yes. Yeah. Um, they would either die from shock or blood loss or the unavoidable infection of exposed tissue. Yeah. Yep. I can't imagine why. Mm-hmm. Like you, the shit I see in a single wound on a daily basis at work, oh. and then your whole body is just an open sore, pretty much. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's just someone sneezes fat on muscles. you, you're dead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, I'm pretty sure you're just wanting to die. Yeah. Yeah. If so, you're just sitting there with eyes clicking on a face with no skin, uh, your eyes wouldn't blink because your skin would be gone. It's just muscle. Do you think they took your eyelids, bro? If they're uh, probably, I mean, if they're good enough of a flare. You couldn't even shut your eyes? No. Can you imagine that? No. That is like terrible. To th- that's like uh, not a fun thought when you're a little drunk. Mm-mm. Everyone, are you, are you guys, are Do you not okay? drink and think about someone cutting your eyelids off. <laughs> yeah. Makes I, me a little, like I'm a, I hold my liquor pretty well, but that makes me a little queasy. <laughs> I was worried. I started writing this and was like, hmm, I wonder how well he's going to handle this. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm not eating like cherries with pits in them or something. Yep. So I'm only going to do like one more like really, really horrible one. Um, oh, you promise? Yeah. Then what do they go to? Like chemicals? 
Yes. Of course they do. Modern day. Moder- modern day. Oh, my God. It's so bad. So there, th- this one um, that I'm going to do is kind of like the least disgusting that I found. There were ones where that I'll involved like... I'll be the judge like, of that. No. There, oh, no. There was one that starts with an S and I can't remember. There was like bugs involved with like honey and milk and you were put in a boat and the bugs would come and eat you and it'd take like 17 days to die. Um, and I'm not going to talk about it it's because... It's called poo-bearing. It, oh, my God. It's so bad. Um you and there's ones with like rats and bamboo. We've been there's... together so long. She just she hears a terrible joke of mine and she ignores, she ignores it and it. moves on. Yeah. Yep. Um. So called, what was that? Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. That was his name. Yeah. Right? Christopher Robin. Yeah. Yep. Um. So there's ones that involve like rats, bamboo. There's tons of different ones, including fire, like burning at the stake. There's another one by Nero that he really enjoyed uh, called the Roman Candle. How have I? Okay. I've heard the word Nero. Yes. I don't know anything about I want to do an episode. He might be a deep dive. He is fascinating. He's I was gonna fucked. Say, I've he's heard a, the name and I knew he was like... He is literally the start of the downfall of Rome. Okay. I knew he was There's like, a whole movie on him. What movie? I don't fucking remember. I just know there's a movie. I've seen clips of it. Okay. That doesn't do me any good. Google it. No. I've Googled three <laughs> things already. My Google search history is already weird from this podcast. <laughs> So anyway, the last ancient one I'm going to talk about um, is one that I'm sure a lot of people have heard where it's hanged, drawn, and quartered. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which and is what you do with a cow, right? Sure. That's jokes. Like, <laughs> I've just heard of like you buy a quarter of beef. And yeah. It's like, yeah. And when you got to hang them to like, you know, field dress them and then yeah. skin them. And yeah, I guess that's, wow. Hmm. <laughs> it all's coming full circle for yeah. you. Yeah. Huh? Should probably become a vegetarian. Let me eat this piece of turkey. Real I was going to say, but we have lemon pepper turkey tonight for the podcast. So good. Oh no. Okay. Thanks, Meyer. That's a that's a Midwest thing. Yep. Um. So anyway, like I said, the hand dry and quartered. I, does it ever dawn on you that we have listeners from like all over the world, like mostly the U.S. but all over the U.S. but like some from all over the world? Does it ever like dawn on you when you're doing this? No. Okay. I'm really good at disassociating. Sometimes, most of the time, it's how it I get through a lot of this But every research. once in a while, maybe it's because we've I've had uh, I pre-gamed a little bit for this one. But I feel like like sometimes we're like, oh shit, there's people from like like that we don't know that listen to this. Yeah. And sometimes that like hits me. and I'm like, oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Like I feel like I know everyone that listens. And most of them. The fact that maybe. I don't is crazy. Anyway, or creepy, whichever way you want. I don't look know. At it. Thanks for listening. Okay. Proceed. <laughs> um. Anyway. This was first recorded in England in the 13th century and became standard punishment for treason in England in, ni- in 1351. So it was used over a 500-year period. Oh, wow. So that was had a good run. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Up until the like, mid-1800s. Not that long ago. Yep. Look and at me doing math. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. 13 plus 5 is 18. 13th century. Is... Right. And then, and then it was used... Anyway... Yep, I, I'm trusting your math. I was just anyway, needing to get my bearings. I guess technically the 13th century is the 1200s, so it'd be the se- mid 1700s. That all confused me. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So it starts with the accused being dragged behind a horse to their execution site, site, hung slowly by the neck, not fast like we do nowadays. How does that work? Like it? They like raise it two inches every hour? Yeah, they just let their weight. I think they would weight them, or someone would pull on them, and it would just kind of slowly like strangle them. Um. And. Uh, The point wasn't to break it. It was to slowly suffocate someone under the weight of their own body. And then once they were nearly dead. Skinny people live a lot longer. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So then once they were um, nearly dead, the person was removed from their noose and strapped down and disemboweled. This was the drawn part. Like mummification? No. Yes, but alive. They'd slit you open and start pulling your intestines out. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you were alive and living through it and you made it to the end, still alive... You would enjoy a wonderful scene of them catching it all on fire. Okay. Yep. And then once you finally died, they would quarter you. They'd slice you into quarters and then send you into four different directions. Like they chop off your legs and your arms? Yeah. They would literally take your body and and bisect it both directions and they would go to four different places. Like sharing an appetizer. Mm Mm-hmm. Except all over the country. And more often than not- No, I understand. Yeah. I I, I realized it wasn't a literal- metaphor but yeah <laughs> i mean hopefully not unless i'm sharing appetizer with you where you're getting most of the chips on that spin dip <laughs> anyway <laughs> the, um, the look she just gave me this is we should have recorded this one on video glaring can i start now no okay 
Um, so more often than not, at least one body part would make it to um, the Tower of London, where it was placed on a spike as sort of like a deterrent to get people to... Your to, left leg and left nut is, yes. on, is on a spike in London. Usually you actually couldn't see the genitals anymore because one of the fun things that you did was mutilate your genitals too. That's, that's probably where they disemboweled you from was mm-hmm. like, let's just yeah, cut slice here you, yeah. Yeah, and then rip it all out. Yep. So this is how Guy Fox was put to get death. The um, gunpowder, the gunpowder treason and plot, you know, from V from Vendetta. Do you know that Guy Fox was a real person? No. You do now. Okay. Um... So he was put to death. That's a movie I haven't watched. Like I watched, I've watched that movie probably half a dozen times, but it's been ten years mm-hmm. since I've watched it last. I think last time I watched it, we were still living at my parents. It'd probably be a little too like, close to home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the current times, guys, it's triggering. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he was sentenced to be hanged, drawn, and quartered. Um, so as his final act of defiance, he was the- someone with the same amount of letters in my first and last name. Though I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So, um, You're his like, final act of that's defiance. That's not applicable. Why'd you even bring it up? That's how my brain works. Yes. So I have to. So that he wouldn't slowly hang to death mm-hmm. and then have to like go through the whole thing. His last act of defiance was to jump from the gallows. Wait, when was this? What year ish? Oh God. I think like, I think I didn't actually know. I think it's like the 17 or 1800s. Cause that movie wasn't set in the 17 or 1800s. Mm-mm. That was set in like in more present Beaver Vendetta time. was yeah, okay. his thing. The reason why he wanted to blow up the Bailey was because Guy Fox tried to blow up the Bailey in the 1800s. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was going to say like that, like that movie was set and in more present And the poem present that's time. in it is based off of an actual real human being okay. who tried to okay. blow up. All right. Now it all makes all sense. I was like, that movie was set in like more of a Mm-mm. present type. Okay. No, his, V's inspiration was from Guy Fox. Make sense now? This guy, Fox. This guy, Fox. Sorry. <laughs> and so he jumped from the gallows, ensuring a quicker death, so that it actually snapped his neck instead of having to suffocate. Yep. Um, Good for him. Yep. And now over the centuries... So you have to watch his intestines become charcoal. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So now over the centuries, we have evolved our execution styles. Hanging is the most acceptable was the most acceptable form of capital punishment in the United States. With this method, the rope is boiled to ensure that there is no bounce, um, and it's measured and, t- and tested. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. I know when you were talking about your weight, your like workout thing, you wanted to get a cord for a pulley and you were like, the string I have now has like too much bounce and it took, and I'm typing this and it took me like <laughs> everything in my power and I'd be like, well, just boil it. And yeah. you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's context there. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into it. Um, How do you know this and what have you been looking at? <laughs> so uh, it's measured. The length is measured, and then it's tested with a sack of flour, which weighs the same as the person that's going to be hung. Hands and feet are bound, and the person is blindfolded. A noose is put around the person's neck, and ensuring that the knot sits behind their left ear. And the concept is to have a short, sharp drop that creates enough force for the knot to snap the person's neck. It's good in theory. Doesn't always work out that way. Oh, we should have done our first episode zero. Should have been ready or not. Oh. K-N-O-T. Man, Man could have been we that pun. For um, so sometimes there are miscalculations, and the person can hang up to forty-five minutes, being slowly de- uh, suffocated, or they could become um, decapitated if the rope is too long. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Okay, so back to the guillotine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, in sixteen oh two, the first execution took place in the, the new colonies. So like here. Um, a man named Captain George After Kendall. After all the murdering. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so I want to do smallpox blankets, too. Do um, you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just to really fuel my hate fire. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Expedition Unknown about colonial U.S. It's rough. Some of it's rough. Some mm-hmm. of it gives a little bit of... Whitewash? No. It's more about, like, some of the relationships, like, with... Oh, not all of them were bad. Yeah, ninety nine percent of them were. Yes, but there was some al- alliances that were formed right. of like mutual benefit. Yeah, it'd be like the more progressive people today back then. I would hope that I would not be a product of my environment if I was ever back. You know, in the horrible days. That anyway, um, <laughs> that was our child. I think walking upstairs or yeah. cr- oh, oh. or Leo's fat ass. Yeah, we um, do have a cat that weighs almost as much as our seven year old. Don't judge us. We love him. <laughs> And the seven-year-old. Nah. Well, yeah. Her, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so the first woman named Jane Champion followed in 1632. So there's this writer named Caesar. Wait, a woman was executed? Mm-hmm. That was probably big news of the day. Probably not. Women were 
Were they executed? I mean, I know they were like, okay. I How under- about the Salem witch trials? <laughs> of okay, course. But I understand. But I'm saying like with equal rights, I assume came like with less equal rights, I assume less equal punishment to a certain extent. Sorry, I was tapping the table. Yeah. I assume they would have been. Just thrown in a mental institution because they were Or hysterical. just executing a less public because it wouldn't matter as much. I guess it really just depends on the crime. Okay. You know, hangings were entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, which is awful. Yeah, you got to gather around. Mm-hmm. Well, we learned about that. Go back and listen to the one in Michigan with the grandstands that were built. And, like, everybody, like, yeah. watched it. And it was horrible. And it was botched. And we'll everybody was watch, like, we uh, should stop What this. was that show we watched with, what's his face in it? Oh, yeah? Harry Potter. Miracle Workers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the second season of that, where they're, like, gathering around that, to watch, like, the hangings of the yeah, day. Yeah, that was a good one. They're coming on season three soon. I'm super excited. Four, I think. Four? Anyway. Were that far behind? Ugh. Uh, it, like, stopped being free so we didn't want to pay for episodes well because we have literally every subscription service now anyway um so <laughs> this writer caesar beccaria he wrote Nailed an essay it. titled on crimes and punishment way back in the 1600s mm-hmm. um just kidding this one was written in 1767 where he suggests that there's no justification for the state to take a life so he wrote that just before we became a country. Um, and by the late 1700s, the, the, a movement to abolish um, the death penalty starts to take place. By the early 1800s, many states had started to shorten the list of crimes that would result in death. So they're getting more strict about like what deemed it necessary. Mm-hmm. And by 1847, Michigan becomes the first state to abolish the death penalty for everything but treason. And then the electric chair was invented. And for treason, we do, did we still do filleting, or did we evolve? No, we it? yeah, we, okay. we were hanging people at that okay, point. Okay, cool. Yep, there wasn't balls being burnt. No, Michigan so, does love a barbecue. So they say we smell and taste like pork. So I mean, we're pretty fatty. Yeah, well, white meat, you know. Um, so the, I just ate some turkey. If you could just cool it on the uh, white meat jokes. <laughs> So the very first chair was built in New York in 1888 and used two years later on William Kemlar, who was the first to die via electrocution in 1890. Electrodes are attached to various parts of the body after the person is strapped down to the chair with a metal skull cap and a damp sponge placed on the head. Got to make sure it's damp. You don't want to, you know, green mile it. Um, yes. Nice and conductive. Mm-hmm. And But you can't have it too damp because it could short out the electricity. What a non-exact science. That's what we like in our death penalties. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It gets better. Wait till we get to lethal injections. Um, so an uh, additional electro- electrode is moistened with a conductor gel that's placed on the leg to help reduce res- resistance of the electricity. The warden then gives the signal and the switch is flipped and anywhere between 500 to 2,000 volts. Do you think the lights dim in the rest of the prison? Yes. That would be like, you know how they play like the little like chime at the hospital when a baby's born? It's like no, that. No, but, but a brownout. Yeah, it's the opposite. Oh, God. Like, oh, the light's dimmed. Oh, that's right. They're electrocuting Jimmy today. Like that. Sorry. That's just where my brain went. Of course. <laughs> of like the opposite end of these, like the exa- far opposite end yes. of the spectrum. Uh, we do like a nice polarizing, like polarizing visual. Polarizing? P- polarizing? No, nope, polarizing. Polarizing. Yes. Um. That's where the bears live. <laughs> so these volts, they enter the body for 30 seconds. Then they stop. Giggity. Wait a few. <laughs> then they stop. Uh, wait a few seconds while the body cools down. And then a doctor confirms whether or not their heart is still beating. And if it is, they do it again. For 30 more seconds? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like microwave Until they're leftovers. dead. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Um, so according to Robert H. Kitchener, who was a medical examiner for Cook County, which is Chicago, I don't, I didn't I don't look know up if when. Cook County is the right place to be doing the electric chair. I don't. Yeah, Cook County Jail. Oh, <laughs> that's a microwave joke coming back. No, again. it gets better because he said in the autopsies, um, "quote The brain appears to be cooked in most cases." And this is a guy named Kitchener. Mm-hmm. Kitchener. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. In Cook County. Yeah, mm-hmm. cooking some brains. They, they once again. They need a marketing team. We should have thought about this, guys. I don't know. I think that's great marketing. Everything <laughs> conforms. They were really on brand. Right. Um, so the early 1900 marks the beginning of like the progressive period. And this is when there was a really big push to end capital punishment. Should we name this episode Cooked County? 
Yes. Okay, cool. Um, we have a really hard time with episode names, guys, so I like to get them out ahead. Would of you like my little tiny pencil? No, no, no. I got this. Okay. Sharpay. Um, so between 1907 and 1917, nine states abolished the death penalty or strictly limit the use of it. And then in 1924, gas chambers, specifically cyanide. What year? 1924. When was World War Two? In the 30s. <laughs> huh. Sorry. Do you know how many Nazi scientists we pulled? The whole reason why MK Ultra exists is because we were like, Nazi scientists, can you help You're us turn down people into hole. spies? Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay. so bad. I just know that this is a, a passion of yours. It is. I do uh, like MK Ultra. This shallow dive will become a deep dive in a heartbeat. Um, all from memory, unsorted, unlike un. Um, unsourced, Research. yeah, just be like, this is all the shit I've listened to. I'm thinking I'm getting most of it right. Um, so anyway, uh, the be gas chambers. Heim- be a Heimler in there? Yes. Sorry, I choked on a black raspberry. Oh, no. They're very seedy. They're from <laughs> our yard. We're trying to eat the, f- we're trying to, what do they call Forage. Foraging, yep. Eat, eat what our house provides. Um, so they specifically used cyanide in the gas chambers. That sounds terrible. Mm-hmm. Would that like boil your skin? It it dissolves organs from the inside. Out. Okay, I wasn't gonna write it, but what happens is your eyeballs pop out, your skin turns purple, you start to convulse, and you drool all over yourself, and then you die. See, okay, everyone that listened to the Rock episode, like that one's not cyanide. No, that one's sarin gas. Sarin gas, yeah. But if you if you've seen the Rock, the movie, the Alcatraz one, like that's in my vision. It's like, his that, favorite one. Yeah, I know. We made that apparent. <laughs> we did an entire episode. Yeah. Welcome to the rock. Um, but yeah, that's like in my eyes, that's how every gas affects the body. Like your skin just boils up and yeah, you... Nah, this one doesn't boil up. It, it kills you from the inside out. But yeah, your eyes pop out and your skin turns purple and you... Oh, like Barney. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was one guy that they um, that they put in the gas chamber and he was like, I'm going to nod when it starts hurting. And he nodded for seven minutes before he died. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's torture. Mm-hmm. Some states have decided that it is um, cruel and unusual punishment. Some states give it as an option. Still? Yes. We'll get to it. Um, so You're going to say a, start, a state that starts with an A, aren't you? No, Nevada is actually where they killed the first Ends person. Ends in an A. Dang yeah. it. Um, I was hoping. So that that was where the first person to die uh, via the gas chamber. And it was thought that it was more humane method. Um, but like I said, I wasn't going to get into it, but I did. It's awful. Mm-hmm. And then the, the condemned were strapped to a chair and told to take deep breaths to expedite the process. Oh, so just... Breathe it, breathe the poison in, you die faster. Let your faster. lungs dissolve uh-huh. in, in a timely manner. Yep. So below that chair, there's a pail of sulfuric acid, and the room is sealed. And then someone flicks a lever that drops little pellets of sodium cyanide into the sulfuric acid, which once combined creates hydrogen cyanide gas. You just got to be quick enough to catch those pills, bro. Yeah. Well, they're strapped to the chair. Oh. They can't. Oh, yeah, okay. they can't move. Um, they're not just walking around all willy-nilly. So I already over. went... <laughs> So. No. <laughs> so I, I went into detail. We also, I said, by the way, just say Willie only truck driver like once a day. Oh, you got to like, throw it in. Yeah. Yeah. In real life. Yes. It's bad. Um, so I already went into detail when I said I wasn't going to. Um, but the whole thing hurts. Uh, it's described as pain similar to having a heart attack. And people ultimately died from hypoxia because the brain is deprived of oxygen. Okay. And then by the 1930s, um, executions had reached their highest levels in the U.S. with an average of 167 executions a year. What year? In the 1930s. That's, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. It's like every other day. Mm-hmm. So next we decided that firing squad was the way to go. Oh. Yep. So a criminal sat in a chair. We got to this chair. in the 1930s? Y- yes. I feel like we're going yeah, backwards. Yeah, the 30s and 40s. The firing squad seems primitive. Mm-hmm. So what they would do with the firing squad is that the criminal would sit down on a chair facing the opposite direction of the people that were going to shoot him. Um, and and he was strapped in. Mm-hmm. And then there were sandbags placed around the chair to soak up all of the blood. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, and You could just have a drain. Like if you're going to do this on the reg, just put a drain on a floor. Right. 
Like yeah, in so a then bathroom. people don't have to carry away like sandbags soaked in blood. Yeah. That wouldn't be traumatizing at all. No. Um, so a doctor comes to confirm where the heart is and they put a little white confirm target. Confirm where the heart yeah, is? Yeah, they listen with their stethoscope so that, and they put a little target over where that person's heart is. Okay. Yes. Um, and five people are handed rifles, one of which has a blank in it. Nobody knows. It's all Russian roulette style, so they don't know who it is that kills him. Only one of the five Only has a blank? one out of the so five has four a... out of the five are murdering someone. The other one... But they don't know who's... Yeah. Okay. Yep. I've never fired a blank, so I don't know if you could be able to tell the difference. You can't. The only difference is that there's not a little... Yeah. Like, thing at the... Pellet at the yeah. end? Um, and then they all take aim at the accused, and they fire. And hopefully their aim is true, because and that the person actually gets shot in the heart, or at least in the in the lungs. Um, if not, they could bleed out slowly instead. So by 1966, support of capital punishment is finally at its all-time low. And then enters the lethal injections. So this is the most recent advancement in capital uh, punishment, and it started in 1977. Okay, so the, 50 years old is the most recent advancement in capital punishment. Yes. Terrific. So the first person to die was named Charles Brooks in 1982. So lethal injection is a series of drugs pushed into the body intravenously, starting... Nailed that word. <laughs> like, I've stumbled over so many words, but crushed intravenously. Everyone has their high, their strengths. Um. So... First, they start with saline, and then once the curtain is removed for the witnesses to see, like in the adjoining room, um, the inmate is injected with sodium thiopental, which is an anesthetic that is supposed to knock the person out, and then they use um, one of two chemicals. It is the pavilon or pancreonium bromide which is supposed to paralyze the entire muscle system, which stops the breathing. And then finally, potassium chloride is used to stop their heart. So the official cause of death is from an anesthetic overdose. So here lies the problem, though. Doctors take an oath to do no harm, so doctors are not the ones sticking the needles into the body. Who is it? Just a person? Just a person. Okay. Yep. Just executioner one? Yep. They're, yeah, they're not flebs or anything. It's just like an orderly that comes in and you hope that they hit a vein. Because sometimes they don't. Sometimes they accidentally inject this stuff into your muscles. And this, it's painful and you don't die. That seems like a problem. Uh-huh. And then there's people in the adjoining room watching, like, the guy who killed their daughter, like, spaz Supper. out. Yeah, on the table. Um, or... They take too long trying to find a good, like, strong enough vein. So then these people have to lay there on a gurney. I would never go and watch. No, I don't care what the situation is. Like, I would never go and Mm -mm. watch. Just tell me that it's done. Yep. I don't need to see it. Nope. Just hand me a death certificate. I am good. Yeah. Like, never mind. I was going to go really dark there, and I didn't. (laughs) Go for it. No, 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 no. No, usually I'm the one that goes dark. No, 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 no. No. I was going to say, like, if we still did firing squads... And, like, say a kid was murdered and one of the dad wants to have one of the five rifles. Go for it. Whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever. An eye for an eye or whatever. Yeah. You know, weird. Tell him he has the blank, even if he doesn't. But I'm just saying, like, Leaf, I don't need to watch this person. I mean, the town that we live in, you could go up and down the street and find random five dudes who would love to be on a firing squad. I bet you our fucking neighbors would love it. Oh. The dicks up the road? <laughs> Little dick in the truck? Oh, yeah. God. Anyway, keep going with your weird story. Anyway, um, so, also, like this, I said. This is one of the more terrible episodes. Cause it is awful. Like, I should have put a trigger warning at the top. It's bad. Oh, hey, we're going to uh, talk about executions. I think that was enough of a trigger warning. Yes. People are like, oh, shit, this is going to get dark. Bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the only thing that the doctor is Hopefully there for. A, a lot of new listeners for this <laughs> Welcome. It's to not tell always ter- this bad, guys. No, sometimes she talks about hair, like <laughs> mullets and <laughs> stuff. Or caves. <laughs> yes, yeah. Tuberculosis seems cheery compared to this. <laughs> yeah. So um, the only thing that a doctor is there for is to determine whether or not someone is dead. And so when, that takes a doctor to yes, find out. Yes, yep. And so obviously a lot of shit can go wrong, cause a lot, a lot of pain, Um. Lines can get clogged, so then like, the full doses don't get administered. Mm-hmm. So, like, if, could you imagine not being fully like knocked out, and then they start putting uh, pota- I'm, like potassium I'm chloride in you, and it starts your? And honestly, I'm surprised they because they're trying out. to do it. So we have an Eighth Amendment right, which prevents cruel and unusual punishment, mm-hmm. and so they're trying to do it 
as humanely as possible. Yeah, and prisoners do have rights. I know that yeah. shocks people. I know. But they do. Some people are like, nah, they shouldn't even have the right to vote, which some of them don't. And <sighs> some of them, in some states, if you get out of prison, you will never have the right to vote again. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. You, you jacked up your mascara or something fierce. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why we're not doing a video medium tonight. Yep. And so there are also <laughs> a lot of manufacturers of the drugs, especially in Europe, that we use for lethal injection that are now refusing to sell them at all if they're going to be used for lethal injection. So Made sometimes there's a shortage. Come on now. Mm-hmm. They're trying to, uh, but they had to get a lab to like do it. Um, so We pumped out vaccines left and right. We can get some. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> the prison system's a profit system, so like not killing people I, means they could make people. They could make money off of them instead. My job is based on prison contracts. I got Yeah. Um, so there's usually a shortage of those chemicals. And so all of those aforementioned mo- methods, the hanging, electri- electrocution, firing squad, and gas chambers, all of them are still used today in the United States as alternative forms of capital punishment if they cannot get the um, drugs that they need for lethal injections. When was the last time someone was hung? In America, people have the choice. I don't know. I haven't looked. I didn't look that up. I'm going to choose hanging are, if ever comes the option. Yeah, I don't know. I want to be. What a happens spectacle. if you don't get? I want to be a spectacle. Yeah, and it maybe doesn't snap, and you twitch and like poop all over yourself for 45 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> um, In my line of work, poop doesn't bother me. That anymore. is true. Let's be honest. Sputum, on the other hand, oh, it's sticky. Get out of here with your sputum. <laughs> um, I don't want your navel cavity cavity. Goop. Uh, good thing you didn't work in the COVID department. You would have, like, every day you would have came home I did bitching. COVIDs. Not, like, 24 hours a day like anyway, other coworkers proceed. did. Anyway, um, proceed. No one cares about my job. No. <laughs> um, so, in some states, depending on the law, you're given a choice. I think 31 states, um, and also it depends on, like, Michigan when, doesn't have the death penalty none, at all. So, at all. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. It was, like, part, it was, like, mostly abolished in the 1840s, and then, like, in the 18, 1960s, it was it's completely abolished. Abolished? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Tune into the bonus episode on Patreon if you want me talking, <laughs> where I just I make up words as I go. Yep, it's just nothing but me giving him side eye. Yep. Um. So, and also there are some states that, like, depending on when you um, committed your crime, there's different uh, forms of execution for you. Um. But most states, thirty one of them, like in time. What do you mean? Like, like in the winter, you have different options. No, in the like before, like March of th- like March thirty first of two thousand nine. If you oh, killed somebody prior to that, you go, you're going to die because of this because it was still considered constitutional. And then How long after do people that, spend on death row, dude. Sometimes it's decades, dude. Dude, like twenty, thirty years. Sometimes. You yelled at me for you calling can, you bro allowed, earlier. I know. And now you just hit me with dudes. Um, it's because you there's you have to go through a lot of appeal processes. Yeah, you do, bro. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, most states, 31 of them. I mean, Green Mile is like three hours long, so I imagine it takes long. Anyway. Well, yeah, not back then. They just killed anybody because they felt like it. Mm-hmm. Um, if he wasn't killed by the prison system, there would have been a lynch mob after him. Especially if you're Tom Hanks. No one wants to lynch Tom Hanks. It's a Green Mile reference. Oh, I... Do you know he's in Green Mile? Yes. Okay. He's, the, he's the guy who, not the warden, but the guy who's in charge of the cell block. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Are you back on topic? He's now? distracted me enough. You haven't underlined anything with your tiny pencil. I know because I've read through this a bunch. Um, so there are 31 states that have that still use lethal mm-hmm. injection um, that have not abolished the death penalty, and along with the military and the U.S. federal government, you, they both use lethal injection as well. So there are eight states that still use electrocution. Seven of them, it is the secondary method. So if you don't want to die from lethal injection, it's you Texas can. Texas, one of them. You can. Um, I didn't write down, <laughs> but there is still one state where that is the primary form oh, of execution. What state? I want you to guess. <sighs> Give me. Is it south of the? Me- is it Mason Dixon line? North it or is south? at the Mason Dixon line. Oh come on, Oklahoma, South Carolina. Okay, yep. South Kakalaki, as. J- <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, there are also seven, 
states to allow for the gas chamber as the secondary method of execution. Really? Yep. Three states that still allow for hanging as their secondary method. So these are ones that people can I, choose. I want to know when yeah. the last time someone was hung in the U.S. I don't know. Google it. I'm not. You've oh already fucked God. up your search, oh search history. Goodness. Answer for the people. I'm going to be on a list soon. That's fine. Um, I am definitely already on a list. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Last um, hanging. And then there I are. I just put ganging. So there are also US. four states in including South Carolina, allowing for the firing squad as a secondary method. The last so public South- hanging in America happened to Rainy Bethay in Aug- in, on August 14th, 1936. Wow. Okay, so nobody, nobody chooses That's hanging. 80 whatever year, 85 years ago? Yeah, so no, nobody chooses hanging if they're given the choice. That's what you're saying. Yes. Rainy well, Bethay, by the way, was 27 when... I don't know if that's a male or a female. And that happened in Owensburg, Kentucky. And they were convicted of rape. That's all I got for you. All right. It was a dude. It was a dude? Yep. Okay. More than likely if they're convicted for rape. I mean, I know that it's possible for women to rape This needs to be an episode, though, because he was 27 and he confessed to the rape and murder of a seven-year-old woman named Lashia Edwards. And Uh, he was hung in, yeah, in Kentucky. And it was a botched hanging. <gasps> Ooh, we do like a botched hanging. Okay. Anyway, um, for episode thirty nine, <laughs> we're gonna go over that topic. Um. So, again, there's four <laughs> states that, um, again, including South Carolina, that allow for firing squad as the secondary method. So, South Carolina doesn't even have lethal ejection. Wait, as their an option. number one is hang is sorry electric- is electrocution, and then and the only two, state, and then two is firing squad. Yeah, they don't use lethal injection. What the hell, South Carolina? <laughs> They're like, we don't actually have doctors, so I don't know what you want us to do. <laughs> doctors can't do lethal injections anyway. Who does the electroshock? Literally anybody else. Oh, the doctors sign an oath saying that they are not the allowed to cause The custodian's like, harm. I'll flip the switch. Yeah, I don't give they, a shit. They have an, they have an executioner. Be- okay. The doctors are only there to confirm if somebody's alive or dead still. All right. So wrap us up here. Yep. There's also a whole bunch of like other horrible stuff. Like in 1989, it was uh, deemed constitutional. Your birth year. Yes. It was deemed constitutional to sentence someone with a mental disability to be hanged. In 1989? Yeah, you were Luckily, allowed... Luckily, we were allowed, now know that no one was hung since then. Yes, but you were still allowed to be put to death. It wasn't deemed unconstitutional. Um, and it wasn't deemed unconstitutional until 2002. This is a rough 13 years for America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it was deemed unconstitutional to sentence children between the ages of 16 to 18 to death until 2005. Okay, that so seems... you could sentence a 16-year-old I think everybody, to death. I think everybody would agree that your choices between 16 and 18 were a little questionable, and those don't reflect what you'll become um, down the road. Yeah. So I don't know if you need to be... Yeah. Mm-hmm. The death sentence seems a little sketchy at that age. Uh-huh. If you really... You're like in... Like, you're going through puberty and shit. Like, yeah. yeah. There's a whole timeline. acne. Like, that's a and rough that, time. It is. Acne is hard. Yeah. <laughs> um... So I owned a Nickelback album. I get it, guys. It's a rough time. A silver side up. Come on now. Um, it's a rough time. Yeah. Let's not Everybody's be, let's, making bad yeah, choices. Let's not be murdered. Yeah. Not murdered. Sentenced to death for such a thing. Yeah. So um, there are still states that are abolishing the death penalty, though, like Colorado abolished it in 2020 and Virginia. Um, they abolished it this past March in 2021. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was like. Three months ago. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so for my sources, at um, allthatsinteresting.com for that list of horrible punishments, like ancient ones. And then... Not only in your state? No. Not this time. We're about to be sponsored by that. <laughs> and then uh, a ton of the information that I got came from deathpenaltyinfo.org. And you can find a big, long timeline on there if you really want to be mad about things. Be mad about things? Yeah, like when they decided that it was unconstitutional to give like a 14-year-old the death penalty. It happened in like the 60s or something like that. Like it's... At least they weren't hung. No, but they were still allowed to die. So um, You and your tiny pencil are done? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now how do you feel about the guillotine? I still feel like it's terrible. Um, but out of all of those things, is it like the worst? There's there, other ways you'd want. There's equal forms of bad. I'm yeah. not going to say it's the worst, but it's still not enough. I feel like waiting in line for the guillotine is the same as when you're like on, death on the gurney 
waiting to get injected because they strap you to a gurney and they wheel you in. Yeah. And you have to wait there and they put saline in That's first. All, the whole thing. It's like if you, it's, so it's like when they ask you a question, do you want to know the day you die? Fuck no. Exactly. And all those people know. They know what yeah. day. Yeah. Even if it's like they're getting on the wagon ride to go get like. Their to, last meal. Yeah. Yeah. Any of that. Like, no. Yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. Here's an idea. Put me on death row and then never tell me until it happens. Yeah. Literally and, just have somebody come and in. don't even take me And anywhere. blow my brains out. Yeah. Don't even take me anywhere. Just have a guard walk by and be like, pew. Yeah. Done. Okay. Moving on. Next. Like. And a bullet is a lot cheaper yeah, then, then weird chemicals uh-huh. that might make me get all twitchy and shit, and I'm going to poop my pants. Come on, man. I thought me... you said you weren't opposed to pant, pant poop, like pooping pants. I mean, whatever. Like, the only people that are going to know I poop my pants are the people that, like, Wanna whatever, watch you die anyway. whatever weird orderly. No. How, you can't. If I'm, I could have re- literally shit my pants while we were doing this episode, you wouldn't know. That's because I can't smell. Thank you. It's a sensitive topic. <laughs> oh, and they're behind glass watching you die. That is true. But anyway, no, at that point, that's the least of your concerns. Yeah. But no, all of it's very like, if someone was like, how do you feel about the death penalty? I'd be like, thankfully, I'll never have to deal with it because mm-hmm. I don't plan on committing capital murder Mm-mm. or whatever. And we live in Michigan, so I would just be a product of the prison system for a billion years because, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's how long you live. But uh, Exactly one yes. billion. Yeah, I'm a scientist. Thank you. But no, it's... They're all terrible. Like, they're all different. What are you looking at the time? Shit, this has been an hour? <laughs> yes. What happened? <laughs> all right, guys. We got to go, yo. We're going to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, we are. Is this a shallow dive? Yep. This got deep. It did. Now we got to record another episode? Yep. So, if Do you're listening yacht. to the bonus episode after this, you're going to be like, oh, that's why he already can't talk. Because mm-hmm. he just listened to her talk for an hour and kept drinking the entire time. Yep. Terrific. Now it's my turn. If you made it this far, congrats, by the way. Congratulations. This one was less. It was bad. It was less. I mean, it was still, I mean, fun in our own way, but it was covering a variety of horrible topics. It was, yeah. All right. Okay. You ready for another one of these? Yes, we are. Thanks for listening. Thank you. And um, if you haven't, if you're listening to this this week, this is going to come out, what, the 29th of June? Mm -hmm. Um, Two more days. Go to Facebook. Find the post about the wine glasses. Comment to friend's name. And it'll be entered into a drawing. Yes, and we will ship you free stuff. Yep. Yep. Shameless plug number three. Yep. We're running out of holes. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> are you getting off the phone with these people? <laughs> yes. And by these people, I mean me? Yep. You don't know these people. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know if you love them. Mm. That felt insincere. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to our terrible podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, or wherever you like to listen. Feel free to follow us on Twitter at TMSTPod. And if you'd like to support the show, you can find us on Patreon at Tell Me Something Terrible. Oof, that was terrible.